Hey friends, Don Gallade here with step number two of five steps, your guide to financial health. You know, step number two in this book is talks about annuities. You're going to hear some noise outside my office here in Drums, Pennsylvania. Some great folks working on the roads. This would have been an awesome time to talk about municipal bonds. But as sexy as that is, we're going to talk about annuities. Yes, annuities, the redheaded stepchild of the portfolio. <sighs> you know, I say all the time, everybody's got an Aunt Millie. Aunt Millie knows everything. Aunt Millie gives everybody advice. Annuities get a bad rap. And here's why. Um, I believe they're sold by people sometimes to people that don't understand them or maybe don't fully know what is the best annuity to have. Now, best annuity had to have, that's, that's speculative. I mean, everybody has a different opinion. So let's just talk about the creature and then we'll talk about what it does, okay? So annuities have been around since the day of George Washington. I'm not gonna give you a boring history lesson even though I'm a nerd and I love history. But you give your money to an insurance company they then later in life give you an income. That's the basic principle of an annuity. It's the foundations for social security. It's the foundation on how um, a lot of 401k and retirement plans and the traditional old school retirement plans, they're all based on that. They have a pool of money and they pay out. If you win the lottery, it's an annuity. The reason why annuities get a bad rap is some people sell the product and they tell the person to put all of their money in it. Now, I don't care if it's gold, stocks, bonds, silver, um, Aunt Millie's trust fund, whatever you're investing in, you don't put all of your money in anything. But a proper portfolio will have uh, certain things allocated for certain needs, like we talked about in the last episode. If you missed that, you got to go back and talk about vehicles. Look at vehicles. So the new vehicle now is the annuity. I can't talk without my hands, so I'll throw a book down here. An annuity has many different forms. There's fixed, there's fixed indexed, there's variable, there's immediate. And those titles are indicative of how the interest is calculated or how the payout when you want to pull the money is calculated. Variable annuities are just that. They go up and down. They have some fees. Fixed annuities are like kind of, I want to say they're like a CD. They're not, but they are mimic the interest though, like of a CD, in as much as you get a declared rate and a period of time. Three year annuity, 2% at the end of the three years, you take your money, you run. Now, annuities have these provisions much like IRA and other uh, different types of uh, investments for um, retirement that you cannot take the money before 59 and a half without a penalty. So if you're investing for your kid's education, if you're investing for uh, a short-term goal, if you're investing to save a house, this is not a good place to put that particular part of your portfolio. For retirement, it's awesome because when you take this money out, God willing, you're gonna be over age 59 and a half. Now, I personally like the fixed indexed annuities in that they participate in the market, but when the market goes down, there's no downside risk. So if the market does 10%, you get a piece of that. If the market tanks, you do not lose. It's kind of cool. It's kind of a good thing for somebody who may be gun shy about the stock market, who may be adverse to risk, but they want to participate in the gains. Think of it this way. Pretend you and I go to Atlantic City. Um, so we go to Atlantic City and there's two blackjack tables and the regular guy's like, Hey, I'm blackjack. You win, you win, you lose, you lose. It is what it is. The other guy says, come on over to my table. I'm a little bit different. When you win, I'm only going to give you 75 cents on a dollar. But when you lose, I'm not going to take any of your money. Okay. So maybe a bad analogy, but the net net is the insurance company takes a piece when times are good like now, and they protect you from the downside risk of losing when times are bad. It's an awesome place for some of your money that has been earmarked 
for retirement. Now, because this can be construed as financial advice to the masses, I ask you to visit my website for the disclaimer saying that this is merely just an educational video and that we are not directly selling anything on this video other than my book. You should get this, okay? in the dollarweworship.com. I named the website after my first book. It's kind of like the first child thing. This book is available on there as well. Both of them from Amazon, both great reads. I encourage you please to look at this book. If you don't want to go and buy the book directly off Amazon, shoot me an email or a text or you know all that crazy stuff that we have on these sites now and uh, we'll get you an ebook version of it as well. So annuities, not a bad deal if you're looking at retirement funds. But as always, make sure you understand what you're investing in. So we'll be back tomorrow with step number three. Stay safe.